Morning. Um, so I'm excited. It's probably an understatement. I was up at half three, half four. Now it's half five. We've got the pilot on, and we're just going into New York. So this will be the first day in New York. So that will be. I think we've got an excursion all day for seven hours, seeing all the the, the major landmarks. And then tonight we're going to watch the Cursed Child. Um, so that should be amazing. I'll take you out on the balcony and we can see what's out there at the minute. We're not actually um, in New York yet, we're just arriving. Uh, the pilot's on board, so obviously he's going to guide us back in. Um, so let's go and have a look on the balcony anyway. See anything at the moment. Once we go up on top deck, we should get a better view. Right, hopefully, the will pick it up at the Brooklyn Bridge. Oh, it's a fun. Hmm. Let's go upstairs so we don't miss any of it. Look who's joined me. Hello, good morning. You had loads of sleep. Yes. Carbon or nine and me. I did tell I was a little bit excited. Mm. Um we're gonna go up top deck now and do this iconic sail through. So see you in a minute. Right, okay, we're just going under is this the Brooklyn Bridge? Yes. Yeah, it's not? No. Which one's this? I don't know, the Brooklyn Bridge on the other side. Oh. Just the front of the ship is absolutely chocker. So a bit unusual, we're gonna go and go to the back. And see, we can still be able to get all the uh, iconic. Look at that. Now <laughs> it feels like we're into New York. Look. Oh my god, that's close. Easy. Easy. So we should get a better. So we're going to do it a little bit different to everybody else. We're at the back. Right, so here we are. Like I said, I know we need to hit the front. It's just too busy. Faith into oh, one, whatever. Yeah. We're going to go up that bit of over there. I think we'll go straight over there. That that's bit. Staten Island yeah. over there. Yeah, with the Thatcher and that's, that's Manhattan. Manhattan skyline. And that's Brooklyn. Brooklyn over there? Yeah. Because there's the Brooklyn Bridge, I think. Is it? Yeah. Hopefully, you can see the Staten Island ferry. ferry. Again, where's Spider-Man when you need him? Oh. <laughs> you always see that in every Spider-Man movie. Yeah. Right, well, I don't know about you, Ad. How does it make you feel? Oh, just really surreal, to be fair. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. We're just swinging around. Statue of Liberty is literally just there. So, Lady Liberty herself. Yes. We'll turn the camera around, because you'd much rather see her than us. Definitely. There's a bridge over there, I don't know what. I'm just kind of like, I'm like a big kid. I don't know where to look first. Because there's so much to look at. There she is, you can see her coming into view. So what's this side? What do you mean? So you said that's the other side of Manhattan? I think it's, it might be New Jersey, I don't know. This is New Jersey. It might be. I bet we're totally wrong, did not we? I remember seeing a TV programme where they said Manhattan adjacent, New Jersey. <laughs> and Brooklyn's okay. inside, you see. So. Okay. That small one is Ellis Island, isn't it? That's where you're thinking yeah. X Men. Yeah. They all meet. The immigration centre, isn't it? The that's immigration centre, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
can you actually believe it? It's crazy, isn't it? That is nuts. And look at that. Got to get that in. <laughs> Staffing Island Ferry. There you go, Ed. Hey? Yeah. So what's this place? We don't know. Brooklyn's over there. Just doesn't seem real. Yeah, she's one last look at the Statue of Liberty. Well, it probably won't be the last look. No. Will it? Yeah. We'll see on the way out again. Yeah. We'll be up there tomorrow. Is that where we go? Which one's that one? That's well, three 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 one. I'm sure that's definitely Empire State. Yeah, I think it is on top of it. That's Empire State, look. There's the edge. See with oh, the, yeah, the edge. See the ledge? The yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you can see it over Yeah. But you've also got the cage ride, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we went to the, boat, to the beach on the Freeport. We're there for three hours, but you have to wait the most of it. Yeah, yeah. But that, I think you'll find it. She said the first day she really didn't like it. Too busy. Yeah, she says, but then, by the end of it, she said, oh, what an amazing city. They did. Did they? Yeah. Put your hand across the two. Yeah. You know, just look, you did that. You can hear them touching behind you, can't you? <laughs> I can imagine. Come on, come with me, bud. Because they were charging that one. Excuse me, I can be like, oh. As they like, leg it for the chief, because obviously the next one is going to The National Tennis Center is not far from LaGuardia. That's where they have the, uh, the U.S. Open Listen. tennis court. Intrepid, air seen space machine. See that big black airplane on top? The Blackbird. It set a record coast to coast in about uh, under three hours, about two and a half hours approximately. And it set it in the early 1960s, but it was a secret because the plane was owned by the CIA. Dock next to it and a submarine tender. And behind, in that enclosed tent in the South Bay, the Edison manufactures steam, and they ship it underground, like gas and water, like any utility that's a meter, and it heats many of the buildings. Some that's buildings really actually use... ...four drops every New Year's Eve. Yeah. Here it is. I see it's right at the moment. The ball is actually still illuminated. I did it once. I was in college. Never do it again. Never. Getting on to 6th Avenue, and Rockefeller Center will be on both sides of the bus. They all interconnect on the ground to the concourse level. To your right, the largest theater in the country, Radio City Music Hall. At the bottom. And 
then a, a hotel on top of it, so I, and then include several large hospitals. It's an incredible thing to see. Now we are at the end of the park, around here, this beautiful, beautiful park. Need the trees today. The genius of Homestead and Vox is that everyone gets their own space. Yep. They built it with um, equestrian paths for horses to stroll, to walk. Okay. On your right is the memorial to the USS Maine, which blew up in about a harbor and got us into the Spanish American War. The Spanish American War was over. Time. We ended up with the Philippines, Guam, Cuba, Puerto Rico. We still have Guam and Puerto Rico. Okay, I appreciate it. Build a little um, food plant. I have no idea what you did. All I know is pretty slip there because you drive in, you know, in security. Is it native of Staten Island? You didn't know that before. No one knows anybody from Staten Island. Louis Vuitton on the left. By the way, FYI, they're expensive. On your left, Tiffany. Uh, fancy stores on the right, Bulgari watches, Mickey Moto. And here on your left, where Gucci's is located, is Trump Tower. Armani on the left, I'm moving on. Harry Winston Jewelers. Harry Winston Jewelers. Look at the stars, by the way. He's on the place in. across street to the left. He's if you ever watch the award shows, you know, the Oscars, the Tonys, etc., Harry Winston will loan out his fits and jewels to be worn on the red carpet. All the way to the altar. Yeah. Adam, Banana Republic. And to the right is. Um, Atlas carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders. We're going to make the next right turn onto 49th Street. I was always impressed with this building. We were on 6th Avenue. Thank you. 
Ich bin in der Lachse. Hey, ja, bitte. Ähm. Oh, ja. We'll be there tomorrow doing this vice versa, won't we? Yeah. You've got the Brooklyn Bridge, right? Over there, yeah. Look. They all buildings look all looking the same. Mm. It's amazing here, isn't it? Toss this, this is the 80th floor. This is the 80th floor, we're going up to the six levels yet to go outside. It's a bit on the off, really, isn't it? Yeah, there's Liberty. Yeah, Liberty's over there. Hopefully you can see it, we're going to go to it anyway. The number one trade centre is just behind this front building. Or I think it's also called the Freedom Tower. And it's just so surreal to be here, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know think? What's that? So surreal to be here. Yeah, definitely. Unfortunately it started to rain, but, you know, while in New York. <laughs> Don't what let it get you down. New York. <laughs> We've just had a couple of slices of pizza. So happy days. Okay, this is welcome to the Elephant Guardians. And it's all to do with obviously the care. Try and look at that. <laughs> just try looking at it again. Yeah. Gorgeous photos. Who wouldn't want to go and feed that elephant? Yeah. Look. So it really is. <laughs> well worth it anyway. Right, Adam has decided he wants some Louis Vuittons. All because of Megan Trainer. You can get men's trainers with the Vuittons. Then it's going to have a look. Right. We have no way to take home. <laughs> look at that. It's just there, the 
speed and power. It's a lovely um, shopping area. Right? Even begin, didn't you? Yeah. You see a size of it. Yeah. You can have a um, subway in it, didn't you? You can have a subway, yeah. half half, but you didn't. I'm going to try and get a bit more tomorrow, so we're we'll back tomorrow. And hopefully it won't be very yeah. It's a very eerie feeling, isn't it? Yeah. So these people, there's a shadow, the freedom power, and they're still building after all these years. So you can always see the edge, but you can't see the empire. Yeah. Uh, the tenth Avenue down there. Cool. Straight down.
<laughs> Welcome folks to Times Square. It's carnage. In a good way. Now we're going to try and head back towards the ship. <laughs> But the music comes on. Everybody finds a rhythm. Right now especially. Adam Hamilton. I just think of ghosts when I see that. What Hamilton? Yeah. Why? So the, um, the American one. Yeah. For the guy that was running up the um, dark dry on the with a white light on top. I think. Honestly, it's so amazing to be here. I would highly recommend anybody come here. Would you add? Oh my god, what a busy, full day. I feel a little bit ow at the minute. What an amazing day though. Yeah. I will let Adam tell you all about it. I can't tell everything because I can't remember everything because there's so much going on. <laughs> so what have we done today? So we got... We went to see all the big um, so we went on Apple called icons. The big Apple icons. So we went on the coach and we went through past Central Park. Yeah past um, Macy's, yeah. past sort of... Um, all, all through Times Square. When Times Square, there. Broadway, Trump Towers and all of that. Yeah. On the way to the Empire State Building. Yeah. Which we then went up to the 86th floor observatory deck. Yeah. Which is just, well... Amazing. Yeah, one of our bucket list things ticked off. <coughs> which was great to see, to see all the different views. And then we were back on the burst and we went to 9-11. And the memorial, memorial, but it started absolutely tipping it down with Dane, which was a bit weird, really. It was a bit like... Mm. We had lunch first in some kind of mall, didn't we? So it yeah. was bizarre. And we went to look at some of the pools, but we won't go into too much detail on that one, because tomorrow we're doing a full, ex full excursion to the 9-11 memorial yeah. site and the World Trade Centre. So I'm, I'm moving you around because I'm actually holding my camera and it's actually hurting my arms. <laughs> Because I'm just done in tonight. So we went to 9-11, then back on the burst through Wall Street, the Financial District, the World Trade Center District, on mm. the way to the High Line. Where we had the quickest tour of the High Line in history, I think. We didn't really have a it, tour of the High Line. It was kind of like just... Ten minutes. It was silliness, really. But the traffic in New York, for those of you who've been here, can imagine it's just horrendous. But basically, it was all the big, um, iconic buildings that yeah. New York have, has to offer. So that was, I think, seven, seven and a half hours. Yeah, we drove past the Edge and the Rockefeller. Yeah, so it was all, it was all the big, it was all the big hotels. And then tonight, obviously, we got dropped off at four, 
um, after that tour. So we had to be back in Broadway by six to go and, to see. Go and see The Cursed Child, which we did. Yeah. We walked up to the... Um, up to the theatre. Up to the theatre. It takes so. like a 25-minute walk from the ship where it's docked. Yeah. So any of you are planning to come to New York on a cruise and then go to a theatre on Broadway, you can walk easily. And it's, so a, it's a really easy walk as well. You know, we're locals now. Because there's no hills, is there really? It's one straight no. road, really, to Broadway. We, um, we, are, really we are locals. We, you know, crossing the road and everything, just follow our lead and go... You know. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> if we can do it, anybody can do it. Yeah. Go on then. So then obviously we went to see The Cursed Child, which oh, I suppose it's all right, you know. <laughs> no, it was an amazing performance. It was amazing. The, the actors and the cast were fantastic. We had a um, little VIP room to go yeah, in. We and... for a lounge, hadn't we? So we had private yeah. toilets and... Um, a room to, a room to have your drinks. And... The intermission, it was quite good to go somewhere quiet because it was carnage upstairs, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and I've got to say, maybe it's probably the best thing I've mm. ever seen on stage. Really Absolutely amazing. As part of the um, lounge, we were given chocolate, a chocolate wand each. <laughs> yeah. We had a drink, welcome drink, and we had some snacks, didn't we? Yeah. And then I had to go and just have a little bit of a mooch around the gift shop. Um, Got some few bits and bobs, didn't you? A couple of bits, including um, the program and all of that. So, I mean, you could just buy loads, but I was very mm. restrained, I, I thought. I didn't spend too much. Um, if I'm being totally honest, it's probably the cost of what you'd expect, maybe a little bit higher than we thought it would be. I don't know, because we had... Um, so we had two drinks and two packs of sweets, didn't we? Yeah. And that was $60. $60 just for two so drinks. So and... 50 quid, which in London is what you'd pay anyway. Yeah, it just seemed a lot considering when we just paid 500 for the tickets to go was... into the extra special yeah. lounge. Well, the £500 was the two of us for the show and the lounge, wasn't it? But it was well worth it. The yeah. show was amazing. Absolute. There's nothing you can fault with this show. No. Um, and then we took a, a walk back to the ship from... Um, via Times Square. Via Times Square. And oh my God. You think it's busy in the day? It is... Vibrant, to say the least. <laughs> Packed at night. Sharpen your elbows. Yeah. No one's rude or anything like that, but there's just so many people. There's a lot of people. Trying to get through. It's, it's interesting. Yeah. Um, but all I can say is come to New York if you haven't been already. For those of you who have been, you know how amazing it is and what you can see and do here. Um, yeah, we fell in love with it straight away, haven't we? So we've got, we've got another day. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. We, we're here till six o'clock. Mm -hmm. So we're doing more. We're doing the official memorial one tomorrow. And going up the Trade Centre. And going up the Trade Centre. And then hopefully, when we get dropped back at the ship, we, we might have a walk up to Eminem World. We <laughs> might have enough time to go to Eminem World, but we'll, have a look. we'll see. But um, it's, it'll be good, won't it? my clothes. So, yes. yeah, so we're being picked up at quarter to ten tomorrow. Yeah. So we have to be in the Broadway show lounge about half an hour beforehand. Um, and then we're going on that tour. Because in the US you always have to take your passport ashore yeah. along with your cruise cards for immigration. Which is fine. It's really quick and easy. Mm. Not horrendous. So it's the World yeah. Trade Centre one tomorrow. So we'll go, we'll go up to the 102nd floor. It's, it's quite high tomorrow. Yeah. And then we'll look at the memorial pools and the... Um, I think we just get a lot more information Oculus. tomorrow on what's happened. We, we, we could have either gone up the tower or gone to the museum. We decided to go up the tower. Uh, so we can see... I think you went to the from. museum. I think you spent all day crying, wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like a, a really surreal place. And I'll tell you what, and I know everybody says this, when you put it on film... You can't capture it. It doesn't capture how big they actually are and... How deep are they, it was how deep they were that was quite shocking. And also the biggest thing is how it makes you feel. Yeah. You feel very melancholy, very reflective. Just to know what happened there. And it made it even just... worse today with the vein and everything. It was kind of like almost the vein was trying to <laughs> tell us yeah. the story a... of the Twin Towers. But anyway, that's enough of that. Because we're going tomorrow. Yeah. So I hope you like the first New York day. Yeah. Um, honestly, it's one of our best holiday days we've had, isn't it? Yeah. So when you look at the video, 
you, you, it might look a bit odd because of the, because we didn't have a lot of time to talk about where we were, where what was happening. Yeah, we had no time because to talk it was such him. a busy day on such a tight schedule with all the traffic, etc. And you were with a group of I think you were with a group of sixty, 60 odd sixty people. So you couldn't I'm just long guide. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't just stand there and talk anyway because obviously everybody yeah. would, would have just like looked at you as if to say, mm. oh, um, what's up with you? We had some New York pizza for lunch. New York pizza for lunch. So that was nice. Um, but yeah, when we put the video together, yeah, you, you'll see where we've been because, as I said, we've explained it. We've driven through some of the districts, Empire Stakes, where we stopped off, stopped off for lunch in the mall after driving past some more monuments, went up um, to the memorial area, and then across to the High Line. The High Line looks is just um, like a very green. It's an old, old um, disused railway. railway that has been turned into. A park, basically. Well, they've just taken it back with all the greenery. Yeah. They've got restaurants and things like that. Yeah, there? it's been turned into a park, so it's, it's really kind of... well worth a visit if you get a chance. It's really nice. It's really pretty. Yeah. Um, but we're going to go now. So if you did like the video, please like and subscribe. Yeah. Um, and we'll get back tomorrow with another New York day and see what we get to get up to in New York for our second day. So... so oh, Adam now, was going to say something. We'll say bye. So what were you going to say? you go and book... A trip to New York. <laughs> <laughs> I right. won't regret it. And we'll see you tomorrow. Right, bye. bye.